is a one-off situation focused on the identification of portal systemic shunts in patients with portal hypertension. We discuss the ultrasonographic appearance of the recanalized round ligament with hepatofugal flow. Examination at the top shows two ultrasonographic images. The one on the left is the reference marker image. The one on the right we draw on it. The appearance occurs in patients with portal hypertension in whom there is a shunting of the blood flow with avoidance of the liver from the normally occluded round ligament which is pathologically recanalized in this situation. There is a tendency for blood to flow in these situations from the liver bypassing the liver via the round ligament to the epigastric veins. The direction of blood movement is the one we know very well. It is the movement in this direction with the avoidance of the liver and, as I said, with the spilling of the blood towards the epigastric veins. It's a somewhat happy situation for patients because it reduces their portal hypertension. On the top left image, we are dealing with the appearance of the liver with the recanalized round ligament. On the right, the main anatomical relationships centered on the liver in the foreground. Here we are dealing with a rib image generating a shadow cone. It is a bony structure that slightly disrupts the ultrasound image, not in a decisive way. Then the liver, which has a deformed posterior underside, we see a more dilated vascular port component. Normally the portal vein has a caliber of 10 to 3 millimeters. In this case it is much more dilated. As I said, the inferior vena cava, another important ratio, and finally, in the center of the picture, what you see is the round ligament, which is recanalized. Under normal conditions, there is no circulatory signal here. In the current situation, we are dealing with a circulatory signal that is mixed, both red, which means blood is leaking towards the transducer, and blue, which means blood is leaking from the transducer. So it's basically a bidirectional flow. We also note the speeds at which the equipment has been set are somewhat slower speeds in the order of 9 centimeters. Plus minus 9 centimeters per second are the speeds that belong to the Venosport system. The relevant picture is therefore the presence of vascular signal, mainly red, in the round ligament. It is a punctate situation that helps us to clearly define the existence of a portal hypertension syndrome as marked on this image. Also, the dynamic image is a relevant image that highlights what we were saying. What we see here is the hepatofugal flow. The blood comes out of the liver. The red color dominates. We have intermittent blue color. It is a spiral flow. It is a bidirectional flow. And I come back with such an image. We do not find it in normal conditions. We are currently talking about portal hypertension with a natural shunt, which in principle, for a period of time at least, will reduce the pressure regime in the esophageal veins and avoid, to a certain extent, the risks of upper gastrointestinal hemorrhage through variceal rupture.